Hello. Hello and good evening. Welcome family and friends. Welcome to this wonderful event. Tonight you're going to be blessed with beautiful sounds of Zaria Sims and these wonderful musicians. Please put your hands together for me. So without further ado, the University of Loyola, Loyola University of New Orleans, the School of Music and Theater of Arts presents the senior recital for the incredible Zaria Sims. Thank you. 
Thank you. This next song is Second Balcony Jump, which is a song made popular by Dexter Gordon. And Dexter Gordon is a tuna saxophonist who I've really been checking out a lot more recently. Been trying to emulate his warm, full sound. And his tone, his playing in general, kind of just emulates happiness for me. And I try to do that as well. So I hope y'all catch on. Okay, this is Second Balcony Jump. Thank you. 
gonna throw it out. Um, so this next song is one that is also wrong on the program. My one and only love was not written by Coltrane and our friend. It was written by um. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> I'm so sorry to him. Um, I'm going to welcome up one of my favorite vocalists and favorite people on this planet, Rocky Leonard, to come help me sing this song.
This next song, we're circling back to Hank Mobley, of course, and we're playing, what is this? This I Did of You. Um,
Are we enjoying the music? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some of you may not realize this, but Zoria comes from a musical family. Both of our parents are wonderful musicians, so that's a fact. <laughs> right? So Zoria will come to us. Zoria's actually carving her own way into the music industry, as you realize, to be on the saxophone. That's another fact. But what you didn't know, the same Zoria that we know and love also composes music. So the next five selections are composed by Zaria Sims. So give a listen. If you didn't know, now you. No. If you didn't know, now you. No. Good. Zaria Sims in the band. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I want to take this time to introduce my wonderful band. Um, so this next section of the recital is going to be music that I usually play with my band, the Zarya Sims Collective, but half the band couldn't make it, so I have to settle with these people. Um, I don't know. I love y'all. <laughs> so first we got Karen Shireshi on the piano. Is that cool? is killing. I met her at a jam session and I was like, you're coming with me. Let's go. <laughs> also, if y'all want to see me and Karen, again, we're playing next Thursday at the Royal Frenchman with Emily and Mike Sells band. So that's going to be fun. And then behind me, I have Arnold Little the third, killing, killing guitar player. First time I heard Arnold, I was like in his class. I was, I'm not going to say that. I was in one of his classes. Um, combo class with Ed Wise, and he was playing a ballad, and it broke my heart and healed me at the same time. So, so beautiful. <laughs> that one's really cool. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then we have Dane Harder on the bass. <laughs> Dane, I met Dane in high school. We were like 15 years old, playing in Allstate. I didn't know him really well, because I didn't really talk to people in high school, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> And then he transferred to Loyola, and we became friends. And he agreed to play in my band. So that's cool. Yeah, Dane, Dane and Rocky are the two people who are in my band who are actually here tonight. I think I see Ryan, too. Hey, Ryan. Uh, Jordan plays with us sometimes as well. This is Jordan Bush on the drums, y'all. Um, I met Jordan in this room. He was playing the piano by himself. And I joined in, and we started playing the blues. And it was fun, and he sounds amazing. And then I learned he plays the drums just as good as he plays the piano, which is not fair. Um, whatever, yeah, he's super killing. I can't wait to see what he does in the future. Um, and so yeah, that is the group. Hope y'all are liking us. Okay. Okay, yeah. So this next song is one that I usually open up the Zarya Sims Collective shows with. It's entitled Whereabouts. And it's usually played with Pef on sax next to me, but he's not here tonight. So if it sounds empty, that's why. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. 
I just want to talk a little bit. So this song was written like 
in 2019. Um, and this is the first song that Zara and I wrote together. And I feel like that's so, the first of many thousands, hundreds, hits, hit makers. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say that like, Z, I'm a little clumsy. Um, Z inspires me so much as a musician and as a writer, just as a person. I love you. Um, we met in ensemble class and we were just talking about, we were like, oh, I love Butterfly. I don't know how we got on that conversation. I was like, I love Butterfly. She's like, I'm putting to, together a band. Like, you should sing it with us. And I was like, okay. And now I'm in the band. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that wasn't the plan, I don't think. But then we wrote this song, like, I think we only knew each other for like maybe a month and a half or something like that. We wrote this song with Shout To. And it's just... I don't know, it feels so full circle and I just want to say like, I'm so proud of you and I love you. And like, literally my sister. So, I hope y'all enjoy holding on. You know, it's about not knowing when to let go of something and that could be really hard. I know we both dealt with that and had several conversations about that. Um, but yeah, this is holding on and I want to dedicate it to you, Z. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, but I'm dedicating it to you. I love you. <laughs> I can't go on this way. It's too much. I'm the same. 
song now, I guess. I don't want it to end, that's why I'm like, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Okay. So before we begin our last song, there's a long list of people I want to say thank you to. I want to take the time to thank all of my professors and teachers, starting all the way back to Mr. Pizzo, who piqued my interest in jazz and saxophone in general first, and I wouldn't be where I am today without him. So thank you, Mr. Pizzo. And then there's Mr. Campo, Mr. Esnall, and Mr. BJ from Baton Tribe, who noticed my talent and pushed me and motivated me to want more for myself as a musician and to just do more in general. And then a huge thank you to all my current professors. Um, yeah, I'm so fortunate to be able to say I have so many saxophone professors here at Loyola, because in high school and middle school, I didn't have not one. They were all like brass people, <laughs> which is really gross, but whatever. <laughs> So, big, big shout out to Dr. Tao, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Lee, who's my current professor, or uh, private instructor, Mr. Mingledorf, Mr. DeGrati, who retired, but I miss him, and Mr. Wise, who is not a saxophone player, but he's the best, I love him. Um, yeah, all these people have had such a huge hand in my education and growth at Loyola and in general, and they threw me gigs and stuff, and I just appreciate them so much. They've been really supportive. Um, yeah, I've known them for such a long time. Like longer than these four years, because I started coming here when I was like 15 for the jazz camp, I want to say. And I'm like 30 now, so. <laughs> so long. So grateful for y'all's support and love throughout my entire journey. Yeah, I love y'all so much. Um, yeah, y'all make me want to do more and be more, and I appreciate that. Um, love y'all, yada yada. Okay, now this last song is titled "Something Worrisome," and I hope y'all enjoy it. Thank you. 
And if y'all weren't aware, the after party is at Tipitina's. Come through. Thank you again for coming out. Hope y'all liked it. My mama thought it would be too weird, but I'm like, it's not exciting. Yeah.